If you don't like Black Panther, you're a racist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know that's gonna piss off a lot of conservatives, though. I wanna discuss the most important thing happening today. The most important thing happening today. The most important thing happening today. The most important thing happening today is, of course, Black Panther is coming out in two days. Benny Hanna's back to deliver yet another one of his scorching hot takes and destroy something totally important in the realm of political discourse, like a, like a movie that's coming out but isn't out yet. And he's decided to do that by purposely conflating movie marketing with genuine civil progress, as if that's what people are saying about it. Aren't you the smartest conservative out there, Ben? How are you unable to make this distinction? Are you are you a toddler? Do you have irony poisoning? Will you ever get to ride a roller coaster at Six Flags? I don't know. Go on, Ben. The most important thing that has ever happened in the history of humanity, or at least since Caitlyn Jenner became a, a woman, a transgender woman. Ben's making the argument that Black Panther is not a big deal and doesn't deserve the attention it's getting. And then he's like, now I'm going to spend 13 minutes to explain to you exactly why. <laughs> I love the irony of criticizing the perceived media hype of a movie that hasn't come out yet by adding additional hype to it, by talking about it for two weeks prior to its release, and then drawing a parallel to the hysteria surrounding Caitlyn Jenner's sex change reveal that happened three years ago, Ben. Donald Trump has come out as president since that time, my guy. No one is talking about Caitlyn Jenner but you. Let it go. Jesus. You are a Caitlyn Jenner stan. The Kardashians don't talk about Caitlyn Jenner as much as you do. Caitlyn Jenner doesn't talk about Caitlyn Jenner as much as you do. Moving on. It is deeply important to millions of black Americans who after all were not liberated from slavery 200 years ago and liberated by the civil rights movement. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Ben. People claim this movie is more important than the abolition of slavery and the civil rights movement. If I could use half the creative brain power you secrete on concocting straw men talking points to destroy anything that people enjoy, my Instagram thirst traps would have scored me a date with Bella Hadid by now. Seriously, by the way, it's Valentine's Day though, and uh, I'm lonely. But back to you, Ben. <laughs> oh, Bella. I mean, none of that has mattered up till they made a Marvel movie about a superhero who is black in a country filled with black people. That is the real, that's the change, right? Blade was not enough. Catwoman with Halle Berry, no. Yeah, black people, you got Blade. Isn't, isn't that enough for you? You killed vampires, you were Catwoman. You don't, you don't get to have a whole other movie. Like imagine how insane it would be if someone came out and was like, why do Jewish people need another movie about Nazis getting killed? You had Schindler's List, that one best picture. What more do you need? Like how insane would that be? You had Stanley Mellish in Saving Private Ryan. You had the, the pianist. You, you had Raiders of the Lost Ark. Do you really, do we still really need Inglorious Bastards? Which controversial opinion is probably one of my favorite movies. Okay, Wakanda is where it is. This is the most important moment in black American history, not Martin Luther King. No one is saying this movie is more important than Martin Luther King, but I guess we're deep in Ben's hole at this point where facts don't matter. Only Ben's facts matter precisely because his feelings are hurt because there's a movie with an all black cast, I'm assuming. Not Frederick Douglass, not the Civil War, not the end of Jim Crow, none of that. Not Brown versus Board. Here's how disgusting you sound. And Inglorious Bastards is the most important thing that happened to Jewish people. It's more important than World War II. It's more important than the Holocaust ending. Now, you may sense that I'm mocking a little bit. The reason I'm mocking a little bit is because I hate this kind of identity politics. I think it's incredibly stupid. So what does that say about you, Ben, since you chose to build an entire career talking about something as stupid as identity politics? Like, this is the conundrum I find myself in when covering these anti-social justice warrior intellectual gladiators. Like, Ben talks about how he finds identity politics to be stupid stupid almost as frequently as he engages in identity politics. Don't lie to your fans, Ben. You love identity politics. You have no career if it wasn't for easily dunkable social justice warriors. And trust me, I should know, I built mine off of dunking on Tommy Lauren. Emily Lakdawalla, I think, summarizes the, the feelings of a bunch of insane uh, leftist white social justice warriors. She tweeted this out yesterday, and it's totally crazy. She tweeted out, quote, so I carefully did not buy Black Panther tickets for opening weekend because I did not want to be the white person sucking black joy out of the theater. What's the appropriate date for me to buy tickets? Is next weekend okay? <sighs> yeah, this tweet is dumb as fuck. Almost anyone with more than three brain cells understands that this is oversensitive, overcorrective social justice warrior nonsense. But you know what's even dumber than that though? Writing an entire article and covering the single dumbass tweet in three different videos. Was there nothing more important this week to look at, Ben? Couldn't you do more appearances on Fox News casually apologizing for Trump and his insane statements on Rob Porter's wife beating, for example? Oh, you were so hurt that you had to tweet that Wakanda is not real. Yeah, no shit. Wow, dude, you 
fucking, you owned everyone, dude. Ben Shapiro is not just a nerdcore movie crit. He's a man who believes in facts over feelings, bitch. Like that time when Ben wrote an entire article explaining how the force is bullshit. Ben, you're, you're like a pseudo intellectual version of the rich kid who sucked at sports, but owned the only basketball on the block. So when his team lost, he'd just run home and take the ball away. Let black people enjoy a movie with an all black cast, Ben. Why does this trigger you so much? Why aren't black people allowed to celebrate Afrofuturism, Ben? Anyway, all jokes aside, uh, take this as my video application to join your Los Angeles producer uh, position, Ben. And uh, thank you. Facts don't care about your feelings, bitch. I'm Asan Piker. If you enjoyed this takedown of Ben Shapiro, go share it. And also definitely engage with all of Ben's fans in the comment section because they will be attacking me on every aspect of my social media from my Instagram at Asan D. Piker for, to my Twitter at Asan the Hun to my YouTube page. So go fight these battles with me, good sirs and ladies. And this has been The Breakdown.